it looks like a lot of big things are about to happen to Xbox Game Pass. I went to the Xbox store the other day and basically saw a soft confirmation that everything Activision Blizzard is finally coming to Xbox Game Pass. It's about freaking time. But also there's a Game of the Year nominee about to hit the service and something about to potentially shadow drop, like a fresh new first party IP. But there are some caveats to this that if I am wrong, then we will have to wait till much later in 2024 to get some of these. If you're a Game Pass subscriber like me, you love the service because, or maybe you do, if you don't, that's fine. <laughs> but I like the service because I get to discover fresh new games that I may not have tried before, and I like saving money. And it has been a big game of patience with this whole Activision Blizzard deal because they announced this deal nearly two years ago now. And we are still, as the consumers, not really seeing the benefit to us. It's been almost three months since the deal closed and we still haven't seen that consumer benefit. So when is that gonna happen? The other night when I was chatting with some buds, I was looking at the Xbox countdown, like New Year's sale. I'll put a video on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. And I got Sifu. I'm happy about that. I might stream that, twitch.tv slash amaraikibiji. But when I was looking at it, I noticed basically every Activision Blizzard game was in this sale for significantly off. I'm talking about like 50 to 70% off every single Call of Duty that's been on Xbox, every single Diablo, every Crash Bandicoot, every Spyro. I even saw Prototype 1 and 2. Like everything, of, at least of all their major IPs, was on this sale for over 50% off. Now, why would they do that? Could it be because they're trying to get sales in? before it is significantly lessened, before they all get added to Xbox Game Pass? As the new publisher of these games, Xbox totally wrote off and approved all these games going on sale that hard. So why would they do that if they were not all about to be added to their subscription service where people aren't gonna buy them as much on this platform anymore? Like, the that makes sense to me. But if they do do this, when would they add it? I think they're gonna want the dust to settle a little bit because one, the sale just happened, you know? And have you ever been here where you buy a game on sale like significantly less and then they just add it to PS Plus or Game Pass or whatever and you're just like, why did I even buy it <laughs> if I just waited two weeks? So they're probably gonna want the dust to settle for a bit and maybe not do it in January. But if they do, it could be January 18th or 19th because that is just before the weekend. It's a Thursday or Friday and that it's at least a couple weeks after the sale. So the wound won't be as fresh, but they also just did this Game Pass announcement where they just announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be on Game Pass. Apparently it was on there before. I didn't know that. <laughs> Hell Let Loose. I'm going to try that one out. Resident Evil 2 remake, a Game of the Year nominee and supposedly kind of like ushered in the really great remake era potentially was that first or was final fantasy 7 remake first that's great you know like they already have a great you know january editions coming so it's like let that settle let the sale settle for a bit longer and then add it so january 18th 19th they also would probably want it a week away from the developer direct that's right, a lot of the rumors are saying that the developer direct from last year is going to return this year for Xbox, and I'm happy if they do. I'd be shocked if Tina Amini, who's the new uh, director of Xbox broadcasts, would not do that, by the way. Hi, Tina. I miss you. You know, game, game scoop. I, I listen to her on podcasts. She's great. Uh, and we'll speculate on what's going to be in that developer direct another time, so make sure you subscribe for that. That is definitely going to be a video for later. But, you know... We'll probably see things like Hellblade 2, Our History Untold, Towerborn, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Would they dare show off Halo Infinite Season 6? Probably not. Xbox just refuses to market Halo ever again. The thing that could be the shadow drop that we actually do have, it's just a tweet to go off of, is Double Fine. Double Fine put out this tweet saying, you know, we have games we're working on. We'll talk about them when we're ready and we're excited to celebrate our 25th anniversary with you this year. We'll have more to say about that later. But yeah, they just greeted us in the new year and they had a little project. I think it's titled Killin, like K-I-L-N, that they had to kind of stop and ramp up on Psychonauts 2. I think that happened after Microsoft bought them. Release a game with us and then, you know, we'll work on your next project together. So that project has been in full swing for the past two years. And, you know, they already had progress on it previously. So maybe that could be a new fresh IP, kind of like Hi-Fi Rush. You know, Tango Gameworks was working on that secretly. 
and they just announced it and dropped it. Will that happen again? It sounds like people are saying it will, but again, that's a lot of will they or won't they talking. But just hypothetically, in a month that Resident Evil 2 Remake and other games got on Game Pass, Activision Blizzard games finally drop on the service, a shadow drop of a fresh new IP from a first party studio, that's... That's kicking off the year pretty strong. But how far off is things like Hellblade 2, the newly announced Blade game, and a lot of other projects? We talk about that in this video, you know, the glimpse at Xbox's extremely loaded future, and just there's a lot down the pipeline that we still don't know about. But this month will be the kickoff to that. What could be the shadow drop? Do you think they'll piecemeal out Activision games? Check out that video. Let me know.